It's time for another spooktacular haul. Hey there, guys and ghouls, and welcome to another Halloween. Ooh, got some spooktacular items to show you. I'm very excited about these finds. Um, most of them are from Home Goods, Dollar General, TJ Maxx, and I think that's it. I think. We're gonna get into it. There's a lot of crazy cool stuff here. Uh, I have some Halloween decorations that I'm gonna have to dig out and get rid of because this year I'm trying to update all of my decor. So my kitchen is mostly a pink theme. My living room is classic Halloween, orange and black, and a lot of cats. And my bedroom is Rapunzel themed because I have a Disney themed place. So it's got a lot of gold pumpkins and glittery fun stuff like that. So we're just gonna dive right in. I'm gonna show you what I got. First up is a giant pink pumpkin. This thing is gorgeous. It says happy Halloween. It's got some cute little ghosties on there in this really pretty soft pink. I believe this was roughly around like 12 or 14.99. This is from Home Goods. Um, and it's selling out very, very quickly. She's like all of our pink stuff just kind of disappears. So get it while you can for sure. Another pumpkin is this guy right here. This is from Big Lots and it's just this really nice plush pumpkin. It is more of a tan, but it's gonna fit in well with my living room, which is Ariel themed. If you hadn't watched my last video, it's based off The Little Mermaid. And this is a nice piece that I can have sit out going into Thanksgiving. So I'm happy about this find. I do love to keep Halloween up as long as possible, but going into November, we've got some nice neutral decor we can keep out, but still have kind of like that awesome spooky vibe, if you will. <laughs> I'm really excited about these. I've got some mugs and I have a little Halloween topper that's coming. I don't know if you guys have seen them, but a lot of people create these really cool fake Cool Whip toppers you can put on mugs. I have one coming to put on this little guy. He is so cute. He was $4.99 from TJ Maxx and he has a little candy corn. And I will show you in a cutaway clip my other little ghost mugs that I have. So now I have a little set of cute little ghosties. Here are my little ghosties. Aren't they precious? I really like them. This one is a little shorter so I put him in the center but since he has a pumpkin I'm almost wondering if we shouldn't do this. Kind of like that, right? Right? Let me know. I'm gonna have to get another topper. I'll show you that once it comes in, but I think they're just gonna be really fun and adorable for the fall season to have nice hot apple cider or hot chocolate. I am not a pumpkin spice girly. I'll buy the stuff that says like pumpkin spice and everything nice, but I don't drink any coffee. So I'm not so much into that. How about pumpkin juice? Can we get some more stores selling that? Harry Potter pumpkin juice, right? Get some knockoff versions. If Starbucks does a version of pumpkin juice, if anybody knows what I'm talking about from Harry Potter or from Universal Studios, let me know. I want to get one. But yeah, there's little ghosty number one. And number two is this adorable pink one. He's got a little top hat on, looking so dapper. And then this little ghost, so cute. I'm loving the pastel pink vibe. Some more little pumpkins. I've got a little set of about eight of these little pink pumpkins that are around my kitchen. They're really cute. I believe it was like five bucks and you got a set of them. As you can see, there are two behind me on my table, sitting by the Gerber daisies. Got some orange in there, so we got a little bit of Halloween started. And then this little guy is from Big Lots. So again, we can keep these up going into Thanksgiving. Maybe I'll just do a tan and pink neutral fall Thanksgiving. Think we can get away with that? Maybe? I don't know. But I think they're really cool. And it's super squishy. One other item that I forgot to put in my haul is this right here. These are the Booyah towels from Home Goods. I did not find the tablecloth, but there is one that matches this. So maybe I'll track that down and add it to my table. From the dollar store, I got this little guy. So it was only a dollar and it's not gonna focus. It says fresh apple cider and it's just this cool little stand that I can put up by my mugs um, and put it by my Keurig, do maybe some apple cider stuff. And then as I said, I got a pumpkin spice. Happy pumpkin spice season. 
And I just think it's really cool. It's like a little mug with a pumpkin in there, some ice cubes, very fun. This little guy was from Michael's, I believe. He's just a little door handle guy, little black cat. I'm not sure if I'm gonna put him on my main door or on a sliding glass door, but I just think he's adorable. Love little black cats this year. I have two black cats if you didn't know. One is named Aries and one is named Thackeray Binks. Next up are these guys. Oh my goodness, these are selling out like everywhere. The pink one especially is gone. I really wanted the one that has the little pink hat, but I couldn't find him, so I settled for these ones because they go with my little set of other ghosties that are from Home Goods. And they are also pink. They've got little blushing pink cheeks. So he's got a pumpkin, a witch's hat, and devil horns. And they match these little guys, which is probably my favorite Halloween piece thus far that I've gotten. Are you ready for it? Look at how happy they are. I just think they're so cute. This one especially, I love him. Little ghost with a pink hat, little broom. It's a little witch ghost. And then you got this little guy, also with the pink blushing cheeks and this fun jack-o'-lantern. So you've got the pink on that one, but then this one's got the orange, so they all match. What a fun set. We've got some ghost garland. This one is from Michaels, I believe. So they're just little dapper ghosts in fun neon colors. These are probably gonna hang above my cabinets. Sorry that it's not super focused, but yeah, there's some pink ones, orange ones, happy little ghosts, and this set as well. This one was from Home Goods, and they're all pink ghosties. Next are some pumpkins. We've got this adorable pink pumpkin from Home Goods. Most of my stuff is from Home Goods this year, guys. That's where all the good stuff was. Look at how funny he is. He lights up. So happy. Happy little witch jack o' lanterns. And then this super sparkly one. Look at the glitter. She's so fun. I haven't decided if this one is gonna sit on the table or if the big one that I showed you at the beginning is gonna sit on the table, but once I switch out the flowers, it's either gonna be this pumpkin or this pumpkin, probably this one. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Then from Michaels, I have a little project. We're gonna see how it goes. I thought this wooden ghost was adorable and he has a backing that comes off so you can put whatever you want on the inside. I've got some little cotton balls and um, one of their feathery flowers that was on sale. So I'm gonna try to do a little DIY project. I got a paint pen so he can be either white or pink. Haven't decided yet. And I just think he's gonna be super fun and adorable when I finish it. So I'll let you know how that one goes. It's gonna be an interesting project. We've got another black cat, this little dude from Home Goods. Cute little witch. Isn't he adorable? I wish, I think, he does. He does light up. I was gonna say, I wish he lit up, and he does. How about that? I just haven't put batteries in him yet, but he is adorable. So fun. And Binks is currently actually getting into all of my Halloween stuff sitting on the floor right now. This doodad is from Michael's. He's a fun little ghost. He's got some little beans on the bottom, so he stands up nice and tall. This is part of their neon collection. They've got some amazing pieces this year. It's all bright orange, lime green, hot pink. There's an all black pillow that says Happy Halloween in hot pink writing. It's really awesome. So if you're into neon stuff, definitely check out Michael's, but isn't he cute? More black cats. We've got this cute little mummy guy. He's from At Home. No, Home Goods. <laughs> from Home Goods. I didn't get anything from At Home because uh, they didn't have too much of their Halloween stuff out. So I'm going to have to make another trip and check them out when they get more. But he's adorable. I think he's going to be really fun. I'm going to put him into my office. And then this little dude is from TJ Maxx. Also super cute. This one is selling out all over online. People are charging double for this guy. He's the little mummy kitten. Isn't he fun? So this is a really fun little set that I can put in my office, little black cats, and I have two of them, so that's extra fun. This bad boy is insane. You can see Binks back there. <laughs> he is a fully sequenced glitter pillow, ghosty, and I really wanted the ghost pillow. He was a Sherpa pillow from Target last year, the little sleeping ghost, 
And I never got him. I've looked everywhere to find him. Still can't find him. But I saw this guy and thought, wow, bling. I'm all about it. He's really cool. And I'm going to put him in my living room. So I'm really happy with my ghost pillow. He is from Home Goods, and this is also online, I think, for like almost $65 right now. People are going nuts over it. There's a pink candy corn one, too. So check your Home Goods for sure. Last up, we have this prize possession. Look at it. Look at it. Uh, if you guys watch Jade the Libra on YouTube, she has some amazing Halloween finds. She found a headless horseman. I think it broke off her mantle and a subscriber sent her another one. And I have wanted to find that bad boy since I saw her video. Well, lo and behold, he was sitting behind the counter in TJ Maxx and I said, is anybody buying this? And they were like, well, someone has a hold on it. Well, that person had left and hadn't come back. So guess who got to take him home? Look how cool he is. Look at the detail. The headless horseman. Love it. I think it's an amazing find. So yeah, that has been my Halloween hauls. I hope you have enjoyed it. I'm sure there'll probably be one more before the season is over. So stay tuned, like, and subscribe. Let me know what your favorite piece is down below and I will see you around like a donut. Bye guys. Oh,